Okay, so put your key in, pull your carpet bag. There's four 10 millimeter nuts. I think you need a deep ball socket to pull out your uh, kick panel for your ECU. Disconnect your ECU plugs. The big plug here on the OBD1 model is gonna be this one is power, this one is ground. So yeah, your main power and ground tier ECU are gonna be these uh, thicker wires. They're a little bit thicker gauge than these ones, but what happens is, is they put them at the end, each end of the connector because you don't want them to be close and then short out. So I just got a ground off the body. So we wanna make sure we have good power and ground at the ECU connector. So now to this ground, you switch your paper clip to the ground pin. You either use like one of them green jumper wires running to your battery or a known good power source, but take the pin, put it in the black wire, and then you wanna test, you wanna put the positive lead on a positive source and test if there's ground by touching this. So now we know my ECU has good power on ground, huh? Your ignition on, replug your ECU back in, and you wanna tap into, I'll show you the diagram, but it's this black striped red wire that goes to your opposition sensor 5 volt. Start here, where the ECU is at 0.95 volt, that sensor is designed to get read 5 volts and then modulate it 